my dear students i welcome all of you to my second session on function overloading chapter my dear students in the previous session i have discussed what is function overloading with a program in today's session i will be discussing two important concepts that is first one is inline function the second one is friend function it is very very important topic for all of you in the exam point of view let's start with the first concept for today's session that is inline function what is inline function so let's start with the first point my dear students whenever you are using any inline function you have to start with keyword inline so whenever you are writing any function make sure that you start that function with a keyword called inline function sir we did not understood what are you saying so my dear students let me explain these points with the program so let me take you to the next slide so guys this is the program which contains inline function let me explain the concept to all of you with respect to the program what is the first point that i said so you have to start the function with a keyword called inline can you observe here i have the function i have the function what is the function name that i have i have the function name as square function is calculating the square of a given number so my dear students you need to observe here i have given the keyword in line so what is that i am doing so i am starting this function with a keyword in line that is what you need to observe that is the first point that i have given in the previous slide so what is the second point that i have given in line function should be defined before all the function it calls what is the meaning of it before i call that function i have to define so what is the meaning of it let us look at this point with the program so my dear students i have defined i have defined this function before i call this is a function call this is where i call this function have i defined this function before i call it yes so that is the meaning before you use that particular function make sure that you have defined so that is the second point that you should remember with respect to the inline function let's go to the third point what we have so what is the third point that we have very very important point that you need to understand with respect to inline function what is that my dear students compiler replaces you need to observe this word compiler replaces function call this is one more important word so number one you need to understand this word you need to remember this word okay so compiler replaces function call with the function code compiler replaces function call with the function code in this point you need to remember three points or three words what is the first one replaces so what is replacing so function code is replacing function call function code is replacing function call remember i will repeat function call is getting replaced by function code sir we did not understood let's go to the program my dear students so this is what i will call it as a function code this is what i will call it as a function code this is what this statement okay is what i will call it as a function call this is what i will call it as a function call can you observe this this is what i will call it as a function call my dear students the entire code whatever i have inside this function this code will get replaced with this so that is what you need to remember the entire code will be replacing this function call statement what is the meaning of it my entire function is in one line right now this is very important so the entire function is in one line that is why i call it as a in line that is why i will call it as a in line hope you understood what is in line going on to the next point so what is the next point they run little faster than the normal functions the execution speed of a in line function is more than the normal functions my dear students you need to remember four points with respect to the inline function what is the first one so you should start with the inline keyword always that function should start with the inline keyword that is the first one second one is always you should define it before you use it third one it is it is going to replace what is replacing function code is replacing the function call and the last one is the execution speed is more when compared to other normal programs this is what the basic knowledge that you should know with respect to the inline function let me trace this program for all of you in detail 
So guys, uh, all of you know that we have the header files. Let me not discuss the header files again and again in all the classes. So my dear students, this is the function that I have. This is the function that I have. How do I differentiate this function with the normal and inline saw? Whenever you come across with the inline keyword in the beginning of that particular function, you have to understand that that is a inline function, my dear students. So then after that, so what is the name of the function that I have? The name of the function is square. How many parameters I have? So I have one parameter of type int. I have one parameter of type int. So what is that I'm calculating inside this function? So I'm calculating a into a. Whatever the number that I'm passing here, that will be assigned to a. So a into a, in the sense, any number, square of that number is going to get calculated inside this function. Then after that, my main function starts its execution. Main function is starting the execution from here. So I'm declaring two variables, x and y. I'm declaring two variables, x and y of type integer. x and y of type integer. And then I'm using clear screen. You all know that. Why do we use clear screen? Then after that, my dear students, this is what you need to understand. What is this? This is function call. I have explained all of you already. This is what I will call it as a function call. Sir, this much you will treat it as a function call. So what is this? Sir, this is a name of the function. Can you observe here? This is name of the function. I'm passing 5. What is this 5? This is the value of this a, whatever the value, whatever the parameter that I'm using, that is the value of a. So what is the value of a right now? The value of a is 5. So guys, can you tell me 5 into 5 is how much? So 5 into 5 is 25. So right now, my x value will be how much? My x value will be 25. My x value will be 25. Whatever the calculated value that I have, it will be returned back to this particular statement and this will assign to x. Right now, x value will be 25. That is what you need to remember. So hope you understood the program till here. Then after that, I'm trying to print the x value in this C out statement. I'll be printing the x value in this C out statement. Then you should tell me what happens in this statement. My dear students, so this is the function call that I have. This is the function call. So how do you say that this is a function call? Yes, of course. Square is the name of the function. Square is the name of the function, right? Square is the name of the function, right? So, to this particular place, what is the value that I'm passing? Right now, I'm passing 10. So, what is the value of A right now? The value of A is 10. So, guys, 10 into 10, it will calculate it as 100. So, this value, that is 100, will be returned to this particular statement back. And then that value will get assigned to Y. Right now, what is the y value? So y value will become 100 and I'm trying to print 100. That is the y value in this particular statement. After that, I have get ch and I will use my program. This is how a simple inline program that we have, my dear students. Let's look at some more points that they call it as an advantage if I use inline function. Moving on to the next concept. Inline member functions are compact function calls. Remember, inline functions are compact function calls. Compact in the sense what? That is what we call it as a packed function calls. Everything is packed in one line. That is what they call it as a compact function call. So where exactly it is packed? It is packed in the function call. Everything. Everything in the sense what? The function code, the complete function code is packed in one line. So that is why they call it as a compact function call. That is the meaning of first statement. What is the second statement? Very important. Size of object code. You should remember this point. Very, very important. What is the meaning of size of object code? So whenever you type your C++ program, what is the first thing that you will do? The first thing that you do is you will compile the program. Whenever you are compiling the program, so inside that compilation process, a linking process will happen. Once the linking process will happen, my dear students, it will generate a type of file that is what we call it as a object code. That is what we call it as a object code. So my dear students, once it is done with the linking, sir, you did not speak about linking. What is this linking? Yes, I'm coming to that point. Imagine I'm writing a C++ program. In that program, I would have used some of the 
predefined functions like CLR, SCR, get CH, and C out, C in all those things I would have used. But what is the meaning of it? How does the computer know what is C out, what is C in, what is get CH, what is CLR, SCR? No, right? So for that, I'm using the header file. I have defined all these functions in the header file. So for this function, C in, C out, get CH, CLR, SCR, the linking should happen with the header file. The linking will happen with the header file. Once the linking will happen, so my dear student, one type of file will be generated. That type I will call it as a object code. That type I will call it as a object code. Your C++ file will get converted into object code file. So the size of that object code file is very smaller when you are using the inline function. When you are using the inline functions, that is what they are trying to explain with this particular point, with this particular point. Moving on to the next point, the speed of the execution of the program is much faster when compared to the normal function that we have already discussed in the previous points. Very efficient code can be generated if you are using the inline functions, my dear students. And the last point that you have is you will have more readability if you are using the inline functions. My dear students, with this, I will complete the concept of inline functions. You need to understand, so what is inline functions? How do I write the inline function? And you should be able to write one simple program with respect to the inline function. This will help you to fetch five marks very easily. So you need to understand that. So it is very, very simple and easy topic, my dear students, to score high marks. Moving on to the next concept, and the last concept in this chapter, stay tuned. Dear students, let us understand the concept of friend function. This is also a very important topic, my dear students. So what is this friend function? The concept is very simple. Imagine you have a class. So inside that class, you are using a private access specifier. So whatever you declare inside the private access specifier, only the class members can access. Only the class members can access. The outside class members cannot access the content or the data member, whatever you have declared under the scope of private or protected. But how can I solve this problem? So if I want to access the content, whatever you have given under the private or protected, I want to access it. So how do I solve this problem? I have a solution to solve this problem. My dear students, suppose if I declare any function as a friend function of that particular class, that function, though it is not declared or though it is not a member of that class, but still it can access the data member of that particular class, my dear. Let me take a small example for all of you. Imagine I have a class. I have a class A, B, C. So inside this class, I'm using a private access specifier. Okay. So that is int a comma b so and i will close this class imagine okay so the content whatever i have inside the access specifier that is private int a comma b only the class members can access this but i want to access this so how when i can access Let, let's imagine i have uh, one more function which is defined outside the class which is defined outside the class okay this function wants to this function wants to access this private data member this function wants to access private data member when this function can access this private data member only when i declare this function as a friend function of this class only then i can access this private data member with this function that is the concept of friend function that you should remember so moving on to the next point so to the next point that i have Friend function cannot call using the object of that particular classes. You don't have to use the object. You don't have to use the object to call that particular friend function. For example, you guys were using like, you know, f1 dot display. So f1 dot display, let us imagine display is a function. F1 is an object. You don't have to use the object of that particular class. This is what I will call it as a object. You don't have to use this object to call that friend function. That is the second point that you should remember. What is the next point that you have? Friend function is declared by the class that is granting the access. What is the meaning of it? So my dear students, imagine I have a class. So let's, let's take the same example what we had. 
so imagine i have a class okay class abc same example okay so i have some function so let's imagine this is a function this is a friend function so how do i know this function is a friend function of this class i have to declare in this class i have to declare in this class saying that this function is a friend function of this class how do i declare that so using a keyword called friend i have to declare this function inside this class only then the content whatever i have inside this class under the scope of private or protected that can be accessed by this function my dear students that is what i will call it as a friend function what is the next point that i have so it's a it's like a normal external uh, functions like how i declare outside the class but it has given with us some of the extra privileges extra privileges in the sense what though it is not defined inside the class though it does not belongs to that particular class it can access the data under the scope of private and protected it can access the data which is under the scope of private and protected that is the next point that we have already discussed let's understand the last point my dear students you need to observe this the function is declared the function is declared using a keyword friend declaration will happen inside the class the declaration will happen inside the class whenever i am declaring the function i have to use the keyword friend i have to use the keyword friend my dear students i will repeat if you are declaring the friend function you have to use a keyword friend point number 1 and then while defining please understand this while defining a friend function it does not use either the keyword friend or scope resolution operator so it does not use the keyword called friend or scope resolution operator when you are defining so let us understand declare and define so the declaration of a friend function will happen where let's understand this so always the declaration should happen inside this class always the declaration should happen inside this class whenever you are declaring you will use a keyword friend you will use a keyword friend whenever you are defining so you will define it outside the class you will not use the keyword friend okay and also you will not use the scope resolution operator so both the things you will not use when you are defining when you are declaring you will use a keyword friend sir what is the meaning of declaration what is the meaning of definition i have already discussed in classes and objects please go back to the previous video and check what is declaration and what is definition my dear students with this i complete function overloading chapter for all of you so please remember if you understand function overloading so you will get 5 marks if you know what is inline you will get 5 marks if you understand what is friend function you will get 5 marks sir then will i get 3 5 marks question no out of this three topics you will get one topic for sure my dear students thank you very much